What's up guys, it's the Nigger with 1001 and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a perfect and um, beautiful YouTube logo. So let's get right into this. Um, what you're going to need is GIMP, it's a clearly a uh, free program, you can get it, uh, link will be in the description below, go check it out. Uh, you'll just need GIMP and you can make a logo just like this. I mean, this I just made this in about 10 minutes, so let's go ahead and exit out. Or no, no, file, new, and then uh, set the width as 800 and height as 800 pixels. Make sure it says PX, and then click OK. And then um, we'll have this here. Yours won't be gray, so I'm just going to paint mine white real quick. So yours will be white like this. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and delete that layer. So delete layer and then new layer, and then call it background. And make sure it's 800 by 800. Now, if you want to set your thing smaller like this so you can see it perfectly, just uh, down here set it to 66.7. It'll turn out like that. So now, what you want to do is you want to um, go ahead and over here. Oh uh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, yeah. Right here, see this circle icon? Click it. And then make a circle however big you want. It does not really matter at all. So I'm just going to say roughly like that. And then what you want to do <coughs> is go ahead and um, paint it a color. Don't paint it a good color right now because we uh, are going to, the color is going to change. So now do alpha to selection, filters. Um, uh, alpha to logo and then click uh, alien glow and then it should bring up a new tab like this I set mine to 210 and then <coughs> set this to whatever you want I keep it as black And then it'll turn out like this. You'll have this background. Well, you don't want that, so just go ahead and delete it. So then you'll have these two circles. Keep both of them. Uh, yeah, keep both of them. So now that's finished. Just go ahead and... Well, if you want a black background, like as you saw how I kept it that color black whenever I opened up a new tab, I kept it black, so it's going to look like this. But if you don't want it black, if you want your background different, then change the color uh, in alpha to glow, um, stuff like that. Uh, so now what you want to do <coughs> is you want to add some text. So I'm going to be using um, the Fortnite right here, Fortnite. I'm going to be using it because it's really good for my uh, Vs. So just highlight it and make it bigger. I'm gonna turn mine green right now, but it's gonna change, so don't don't make yours all pretty yet. Um, so V. I don't know why it didn't do the V. Oh, it's because of that. Okay. So make sure your text is above the background, because I think it's automatically below. So I'm just going to make this a lot bigger, like about 403, that seems good. And I'm going to go ahead and select it and move it in here. So now what you want to do is you want to uh, click this alpha to selection on the text and go up to, s oh yeah, go to here. Click the uh, blend tool or the gradient tool. Select the colors that you want. I'm going to pick uh, a light green and then select another color. I'm going to pick a darker green. So now I'll just go and drag it like that. But uh, a good thing to use is radial. So on your tool options, do radial. And just get it how to you want it. And it'll be like a lighter to a, a darker green. 
So now add another piece of text. So I'm just gonna say G, which stands for VG Video Gamers. And I'm gonna go ahead and enlarge that. And I'm gonna make this slightly bigger than the V. This just gives your viewers more effect to your logo. So now it's slightly bigger than the V and I'm gonna move it up some. So now you'll see, uh, you just wanna do the same thing again. You want alpha to selection that and click your blend tool again and go ahead and do whatever you want on that one. I'm just gonna keep it like that. And I'm gonna situate the, this stuff like that. And now if you want to, you can uh, turn it. I'm gonna, I like to turn mine a little bit. Um, but sometimes it messes up like that, so just control Z. Oh, that's what you want to do. Uh, you want to select none. And then you can turn it, rotate, there you go. Oh, uh, well, that's too much. There, I think that's good right there. And now I'm going to turn my V, uh, to the inside a little bit. So there you go. Now you can go on Google and get some uh, like controller images. So like, um, say you want uh, some controllers. Um, I already have some controllers, but you go, you go, sh you should go on here and get like this controller. Or like, if you're doing gaming, then get some controllers. If you're doing something else, then do whatever that is. Um, but yeah, you can just check all this out. So, um, once you have your stuff that you want, go get it from your desktop. So I have the two things, pick out at least two things that you want, and I'm going to move those onto GIMP. So I'll just put it there. And now you're going to, why did it just... Okay, so then you're gonna have it on your GIMP. Now it's gonna be a uh, black, uh, black, and you probably can't see it. So just go ahead and uh, alpha to select it again, and uh, use your gradient tool. So I'm now I'm this time I'm gonna do a light red. So I'm gonna pick that one, and I'm gonna do a dark red. And that will just uh, color the controller. And uh, also to like, this is what I did on my logo. I flipped it around and put it up right there. Um, and wait, hold on. Uh, I forgot to al un alpha to select it. So just go and Z, Z, Z. Okay. Now... Uh, select none okay now you can turn it if you want to so I just turn it around like that rotate and then you should just move it under one of these so it's like peeking out a little bit like that that looks good um and you can also like enlarge it a little bit I would I would make it a little bit bigger so now get your, go ahead and get your second uh, icon that you got off of Google and go ahead and drag it and drop it into there. Um, and of course, resize it, scale it down to however much you want. I'm going to put it about like that. And what I like to do with this image, uh, just because it has the hands, I like to slide it under the, the V plus the hand under V. So uh, we'll go ahead and alpha to select it and gradient tool and we'll just color it like that. Now you don't have to do red on both of them, but I like to, oh snap, control Z. Uh, and we forgot to select none. Okay, now we can move it and I just like to put it like that but um I like mine under the Z so I go ahead and move my layer down under the Z 
so then I just move it in like that so that's pretty good right there um and other text like I put on my logo uh I put on my Lego logo um I put like gaming whoa what the okay hold on I'll fix that in a little bit um but I put like gaming on mine and I turned the text white and put it up like that and um, I just put that over here so let's move this G back right there that's good okay and then um, so you can have gaming and you can make it bigger and stuff and also just like other text that you want um, make sure to add the alpha to selection and then add the when uh, the gradient tool and then select none now you can do whatever else you want with this um, it doesn't really matter uh, you just make it yours and uh, yeah thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time make sure to subscribe for more and if you want me to do uh, how to make a YouTube intro oh yeah and here's my uh, one that I made right here so if you want to me to help help you make a YouTube intro comment below saying that you want me to so like you can see my intro right here you'll uh, you'll also be able to see it at the beginning of this video also I have my outro so ask down below if you uh it, like say down below that you want me to to make a intro or outro like to teach you how to do that and i'll go ahead and do it so thank you all for watching i'll see you guys next time make sure to subscribe peace guys